I turned the lighting down here for the studio light uh, to show you this demo. So what I just set up, and it only took like probably two minutes to set this up, is when this door sensor opens, so I mean when the door opens, I have these basement lights right above me go on to 100%, and then when the door closes, I have them turn back off. So this would be, you know, lots of different uses you could think of for this. This is just one example. You could have it turn on music. You could have it turn on the TV, all kinds of stuff. Um, and then for this, when the motion sensor, I have it pointed away from me so I don't um, make it go off right now. But when that detects motion, I have the basement lights turn on to like 30%. So they're, they're very dim. So let me just um, show you here. I'm going to take this sensor away uh, from the door. There's the light comes on, and then if I close it back and put it back down, those lights kick off. Hey guys, this is Nate, and this is the Nader Tater channel. Today I'm going to talk about some smart home devices. So these are a smart water leak sensor, a, uh, a door sensor, so like a door open close sensor, and then a motion sensor. And now all three of these devices are from Third Reality, so that's a, a brand that's out there. And then they also are all Zigbee protocol. And Zigbee is a type of wireless protocol for communication. So it's very similar to Wi-Fi. And in fact, it's uh, almost the exact same frequency range as the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi that's out there. But your Wi-Fi router doesn't talk to these. So you have to have a, another device that is a Zigbee hub. And so in my case, I have a SmartThings hub. Uh, that's now been taken over. I think uh, AOTech uh, manufactures those hubs for smart things, but um, there are lots of other ones out there. In fact, some uh, Amazon Echo um, devices actually have a built in um, Zigbee hub that you can use. Also, Third Reality sells a hub themselves, and I think it's like 30 bucks or something. It's uh, fairly reasonable, really. But, anyways, that's how they communicate. Uh, to a hub and then that hub you'll have integrated to your smart home and it can be as complex or as simple as you want mine's a little bit more on the complex side but it could be as simple as you just have uh, a few of these water link sen uh, sensors and it sends you a push notification or you can have it text you when it detects a leak uh, so let me go through each of these for the sake of time I went ahead and unboxed them and so this is what you get in the box for the water leak sensor this is the sensor itself, and then it has a little miniature screwdriver as well as uh, batteries included with this. These are um, AAA batteries that will pop out of here and we will install. And then the other thing that it has is a little add-on kit. Uh, it's included, and this takes the sensitivity of the water detection from low to high. And so what this is doing is, um, I'll, I'll show you, I'll take it apart and show you, but the contacts on here that it's looking for a connection uh, this is going to make it more sensitive so even if you have like a small drip it will be more sensitive to detect that and it won't need like the whole area to flood with uh, with water so we'll go through that one in a little bit and then this one here is the door sensor so this is um, the stationary side that you would typically put like on the wall or whatnot and then this other side is the one that houses the magnet and they have these little lines that go together and you know the way these work is when the magnet gets closed it um, you know says the door is closed and then as the magnet goes away it says the door is open and so you know the, the reason why you might want this door open close sensor is obviously for like an alarm feature but also with a smart home you can have it uh, do actions or routines or scenes based off what it does so you can say hey you know when I open that door and it's past sunset uh, for example i want you to turn on this light right and so you can do some automation activities like that with with this and then next we have the motion sensor i guess i forgot to mention this one has batteries in there as well um so here is the motion sensor and again it comes with a little pack of uh, AAA batteries and then you can see it has a little pir sensor here this is very small and compact it does come with uh, double-sided sticky tape as well as um, this um, uh, open close sensor does as well for installing it so this is really nice and small you know this can go um, lots of places you can stick it on a wall you can stick it um, on a cabinet or whatnot 
and again same thing here this could be used for uh, alarm system for security it could be used for um, just detecting motion and having like a hallway light come on again like at night and in fact I use um, for my home it was hardwired with a alarm system and I use connected which takes those hardwired sensors and ties it back into my smart home but um, you know I only have a couple motion sensors uh, due to that but I have one of them at night when it detects motion uh, it turns on uh, several key lights at a very dim setting um, which is really handy for when the little baby wakes up we have uh, some very dim lighting but we don't have to touch any um, uh, light switches to make that happen so this could do the same type of thing where I could have this somewhere where there isn't a motion sensor because it's so easy um, to place somewhere with the battery and then you can have it do some stuff so let's take these and let me um, let me do a little bit of the assembly that's required here but then we'll open up the app for me smart things app and I'll show you uh, how they they kind of work and then maybe I'll do a couple little demos here Alright, so now I got this guy, and I'm going to read you the instructions on how exactly I uh, add these in. I think I do want it to have on the high sensitivity, because most of the time when I put these, I have them right now behind my washing machine. I have them down in the utility room by the, um, by the hot water heater and the well pump, and so I prefer to get notified right away when there is any water. All right, so I just installed the batteries, and I can see this blue flashy light here. Um, I guess it's on the bottom there. You can see it's flashing blue. So let me go ahead and go in here before I put it back together. 
I'm just going to go to my Smart Things app and uh, tell it to look for a new device here. Alright, so I'm just down here in the basement and I will go ahead and add device here. And then for me, for Smart Things, I can do it, um, go in here and search. Alright, so I'm just going to tie up uh, water leak sensor. And, you know, it may or may not have this brand actually in there. And so if it doesn't, then I am just going to pick alright so I just saw the blue light go out and stop flashing so hopefully that means it did pair and you do want to make sure you're, you're within range of your home hub um, so that you're not too far away because it does have a range limitation there okay so it did work out so there's my water leak sensor. So let me put it back together and uh, then we can test it. Alright, so it took me a second just to figure out exactly what the instructions were were saying. Because um, I thought it was supposed to be sandwiched internally. But actually this, um, these add-on pieces go on the outside of the unit. Which makes a lot more sense and a lot easier to put together than trying to sandwich them between the two pieces of the, um, the device here. So for this, you know, the way these sensors work is most of them by default have three uh, contacts. And when those contacts, when any two of the contacts um, get continuity, which water would, would create that when water touches, the same piece of water touches both uh, two contacts, then it would go off. So in this case, what they're doing is just adding a, um, a bigger uh, area that can touch water and uh, get in contact with it so this here is the contacts all right so as you can see <laughs> it does have a sensor on here that goes off and that's because you need to have a gap between these two pieces of metal when these two pieces of metal touch each other or water goes between them then it goes off so now this one has a very small gap there between those two pieces and if water were to have a drop right there that would make the sensor go off you heard the beep there you heard my phone also go off okay so if i did not add the extra um pieces here so i had it on low sensitivity then water would have to span uh, the gap here between this um, screw or this one or this one down here so it would have to be much higher than it's you know it's not exactly on the ground it's a little bit above the ground uh, when you set these down because the screw is um, you know inset from the bottom of it which means the water would have to rise to that height in order for it to work so this one still has some gap relative to the ground but it's not a lot you know it would take a very small amount of water to get this guy to go off and um, so this is how it works is very simple simple device okay so for the door open close sensor you do have to pop it open here and then it has mounting screws on the inside of here so this would be for you to to screw this um, stationary piece to a wall to a door frame uh, to whatever and then on the other side here you have um, the batteries like all these other ones all right so also in here you have some double-sided sticky tape that you could use instead of the screws and that would allow you to attach both the little remote piece as well as the stationary one so let me just put the batteries in this guy and we'll add it to uh, smart things just like we did the water leak sensor all right, so last but not least is this uh, motion sensor here. So we will pop it off and we will also uh, put batteries in it. It does come with the same uh, setup as the door sensor and that's a, it has a couple screws with holes in the back of the, um, the plate there as well as coming with double-sided sticky tape. So let me just get it added to my uh, SmartThing system and then we will go about uh, showing you a couple little demos here. 
I turned the lighting down here for the studio light uh, to show you this demo. So what I just set up, and it only took like probably two minutes to set this up, is when this door sensor opens, so I mean when the door opens, I have these basement lights right above me go on to 100%, and then when the door closes, I have them turn back off. So this would be, you know, lots of different uses you could think of for this. This is just one example. You could have it turn on music. You could have it turn on the TV, all kinds of stuff. Um, and then for this, when the motion sensor, I have it pointed away from me so I don't um, make it go off right now. But when that detects motion, I have the basement lights turn on to like 30%. So they're, they're very dim. So let me just um, show you here. I'm going to take this sensor away uh, from the door. There's the light comes on, and then if I close it back and put it back down, those lights kick off. So now if I do the motion sensor thing, let me put my hand out here. There, uh, hopefully you can see that on the camera. The lights come on. Now I have that one also turn the lights off, but most of these sensors will um, say motion is active for anywhere between 30 seconds and two minutes I've seen before they will try to re-trigger to help save battery life. So um, this will make these lights turn off here after a few minutes, but I could also put a delay timer on them where I could say, hey, after you detect motion, wait 20 minutes before turning off the lights. So oh, there you go. So it was probably 30 seconds that this one um, deactivates and turns back off. And then here with the water sensor, you know, I have it just send me a text message. Um, if I wanted to, I could also have it uh, sound an alarm or send me a text or something else as well. So pretty cool devices um, Nice and simple. I'll put product links down in the video description below uh, They are affiliate links. So if you click them, uh, I might get a small commission, but at no cost to you and You know these guys are about $20 a piece uh, From what I've I've seen is kind of where they trend like I said, they have a hub um, and they have some other products as well that they sell. So um, they seem to work well and they're easy to set up. So um, hope you enjoyed it.